Okay, so when we go to 320 here, this is probably if you didn't have a dent or um, any repair work, file work, you could probably start at 320 if you have some heavy scratches. It's always best to start with uh, the higher, the higher uh, grit that you can. If you can start with 600 grit or 800 grit, it just really depends on how many scratches you have in the piece of stainless that you're working in. So I'm going to go ahead and move to 300 here. And again, feathering it out a little bit more like I did the 240. I'm just uh, sanding still the area that um, was, was repaired. And you can see that the paper does clog up pretty fast. Stainless is uh, pretty tough metal, so uh, i got to keep moving my paper around. And uh, I'm just working now to get the 240 scratches out. And because this has some pretty deep scratches on the other side, I'm actually going to go ahead and start sanding the whole piece. Uh, so that I can get some of these deeper scratches out with this 320. So hopefully this is showing up okay and you can see the piece. The scratches are, are now starting to be all the same depth, the 320 grit, and they're all going the same direction, which is very helpful uh, for getting a, uh, a good piece of trim here. As you can see, I, I continue to sand in the same direction without uh, cross sanding, and I think that that helps overall. Uh, when the light refract, refracts, but it's going to be um, it's going to be polished so smooth here in a minute that uh, we won't see any of these scratches. So that's the 300 or the 320. I'm going to go to 400 now. It's just a little bit more, but I find that uh, it's a little easier to make that jump to 600 if I do this uh, at the 320. So. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's uh, it's starting to get pretty smooth, um, more like a satin finish now. And I continue to try to move my paper around so that I get new uh, new sandpaper on it because the grit gets wore down very fast from stainless. So that's the 400. And it's, you know, the more time you spend on it, the nicer uh, the end product will be. That's, uh, it's just how much time do you want to spend on a piece of trim. Uh, the next step, 600, I need some water. So, I like to do the 600 wet. Uh, this is a 600 paper. It's a little bigger than what I need. Uh, again, you can get all these papers pretty much at any local paint store, auto paint store, and, uh, and the different grits, they sell them in all different packs. By using a, a wet 600, it allows the paper to stay a little bit, uh, it, it doesn't clog the paper as much and carry some of the uh, shavings away a little easier, so it actually just keeps it uh, lasting a little bit longer for me. Um, but I want to work the area over real good. Now at this point, you know, I've gone well past uh, each one of the steps, but if I was, each one of the areas that I was working, I've kind of made it a little wider. If I was doing the whole piece, it wouldn't really matter because I would just go through it, but we're just doing a quick piece here to show you. And I'm making a mess of my, my paper table, but... Uh, so... That's the 600 stage. And you can always just check it and see if you see any deep scratches, uh, you'll want to back up and do a little bit more. I can see just a little bit of the 400 scratches still, so I'm going to hit it again a little bit with 600. Okay. That looks good. Um, actually, I got one little little area in here I want to hit. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go to 800, excuse me, that's 600, uh, and this will be the last step that I do by hand, and then I'm going to start moving to machine, to a DA, and then the buffing wheel. Again, I'll do this one uh, wet also. And just trying to take out 
the 600 scratches now. So again, you'll be able to feel when you do this the paper as it dolls up and when you need to move it and rotate it around. Uh, if your polish is in really good shape and really is just dull and not a lot of scratches, you can start right here at 800 or even a thousand and just try the DA. It's better to try a little piece with not as much grit and see if it'll actually polish out because it'll not only save you time, it'll save you money not having to buy the paper and uh, trust me, you don't want to spend forever polishing on this stuff. You want to get it on the car. <laughs> Okay, so that's at this point basically just a satin finish. Um, that's the 800. I'm going to go ahead and put a pair of gloves on now because I'm going to work with the DA. And uh, at this point, actually, I'm going to put a jacket on. It's always uh, best to wear some heavy protection in case something comes flying off and uh, I have this Carhartt jacket just for that and these gloves are uh, actually uh, they're TIG welding gloves by Tillman uh, they're 24 uh, CLs for uh, the L's for large I don't know what the C's for but uh, they work really good because they're, they're a real nice leather they're thin I can still feel a lot of what I'm doing so um, I've already got this one loaded up with a thousand and it's important when you're using the DA that you actually uh, sand off the material so what that means is this, this DA is spinning this way I want to make sure that the blade is always going off the material so it doesn't catch and spin that's going to be the same thing on the, uh, the buffer so uh, I go slow and, and I'm just basically sanding uh, the area with a different pattern now. So if you get in here, you can you'll see. And you can see the difference. I've done one side and not the other, and it's starting to look shiny again. We're at a thousand now, so. and I'm gonna um, polish off this way. Now. You want to control the throttle. You just don't want to go full, full throttle because you'll end up burning the paper up. So just kind of control the speed. So at this point, you can kind of see we're getting really nice, uh, kind of starting to shine up. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut the video off, but I'm going to do the same thing with 1200 and 1500. And once I have that done, just like I did the thousand here, then we'll start part three and we'll go to the buffer and we'll finish this out to a perfect chrome finish shine. <laughs>